Welcome back to another episode of Building the City. This is Soap the Great. In this episode, or possibly series of episodes, it depends on how much content I have, um, we are going to be taking on the Ender Dragon. So the first order of business is to set up some uh, set up a rail line so I can get some supplies out and uh, that's pretty pretty simple I've done this before not necessarily on camera but just a little um, little, little something here for a button and then the launch off pad I don't need that one there and uh, so yeah I'm gonna take the Take some powered rail and some regular rail, and then uh, just just go on down the line. So that's it's going to be fairly boring for this part, but uh, I'll bring you back when I get to the other end, and then we can go through and take a look at the stronghold. Um, you may notice I've already taken a visit there. I've gotten some mossy stone and some cracked stone. We're going to use that in decorating the main base, but, uh, but yeah, we'll I'll I'll see you in just a bit at the other side of this rail line, and uh, and we'll talk some more. All right, back in a bit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back and just laying the last bit of track here. This is one, two, three, four, six. Well, that works out. There we go. And if I had a button, I would put it right there. But uh, I forgot. So that should be set for sending storage minecarts. Let's take a look through here. Hopefully, there's not much to surprise us on the other side. No. Yeah. So you can see I've already been taking apart stuff. Um, I'm not going to stick around here for too long because I don't have the sound up and I don't know where exactly the portal is. Um, but we're still still trying to figure that out. I think Aston has found it, but I'm going to leave the preparation for that probably to him, at least getting, getting a rail line down to it. Um, but yeah, there's a stronghold. We'll take a look at this later, but for now, we've got our rail line in the nether, so I can start sending supplies down here. After I bring, well, I'll need a button, but that's just to return. So that's it for now. Uh, let's see. Next up, we need to send some storage minecarts down here. Yeah, see, we're not too far from the from the nether. Up. Not at all. Send some storage minecarts with the supplies that I've been gathering, and um, and then we should be ready. Uh, the other guys need to get the get their armor built up, but uh, that's not too difficult with the blaze spawner. So uh, so yeah, um, I will be back with the storage minecarts in just a bit. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, so there was a bit of a break there for me. Uh, not much for you, uh, but in real life, I believe it's something like two weeks has now passed. This has been an ongoing project to prep for this thing. And um, here are the storage chests that we're going to figure out how to divvy up. We may end up just taking them all, but um, well, we'll see. I'm going to get things ready down in the end portal room. You see we've got plenty of potions here. Uh, a couple for each of us. Uh, potions of swiftness and strength and a bunch of health potions. Uh, we've got our snow golem, some, some utility dirt and cobble, and I think we'll need more of that actually. Uh, night vision, definitely need that. There's the strength and the other potions of healing. Let's see what else we got the harvesting area. You know what, I forgot to get a silk touch axe. 
I don't have silk touch anything. Okay, that's fine. Um, I need to get some bookshelves from the Stronghold Library, which is not too far from the Nether Portal, the Enchanting Table. So there we go. Um, we need to get this all into the Stronghold, and you know I've done that before. So let's head on down to the Stronghold itself. Um, and, you know, I admit to bring you along for all of the preparations, including prepping the stronghold room, and I just got a burr under my saddle this morning and felt like taking care of it, and so here we are, okay? Um, I don't want to do too much exploring because I invite bad things. I believe it's down this one, is it? Yeah. Okay. So here's the portal room. Um and you can hear you can hear a little spider out there. I've I've covered it up, killed the um what is it? That thing. Spawner, silverfish, yeah. Um killed that. And that spider, he just wants to get me. You see this thing spawned in the middle of a ravine. It's a pretty nice looking ravine. It would be nice to take that on once, um, once we're done with this thing. Let's see. You can see the, the library out there. But yeah. So, um... I put in the eyes of Ender, so this thing is technically ready to go. I could jump in and, well, that would be bad, because the only way out is to either kill the dragon or die, okay? Or have my character die. Oh, that spider just died. Good. Good riddance. I want, I want this. Got it. And, and since there have been silver fish in here it pays to be a little cautious Ooh, not good hmm. so there we go okay got that um I, I just really like this stuff but anyway here we go so we've got a clock there so what we're gonna do is uh, come on in and when it's nighttime we'll sleep here set our spawning point here so in case we die we'll end up right here and uh, yeah um, the next order of business is getting the minecarts down here so you notice we had to come down that staircase, and that's that's a bit of a problem. I wonder where to put this thing. If I put the portal there, we could possibly end up teleporting out of the area. What do I do? Maybe I just bring them down? I don't know. But what I need to do is get the storage minecarts down that way. Here is the library. Oh, there's some nastiness in there. I don't want to tempt fate too much. But yeah, okay, so so there we go. Um, I meant to bring you along. I'm sorry about that. Please forgive me, but uh, I'll bring you along for once I get the storage minecarts. Um, down there and uh, and then uh, th we're going to be taking on the ender dragon tomorrow and I will have a time lapse of that so so stay tuned um, and uh, hopefully you enjoy talk to you in a bit all right ladies and gentlemen here is the rail line down to the portal room and we'll just get the minecarts 
through here. I blocked off some areas just to keep it a little bit safer and make sure. And I've been digging out. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, let's take care of that. Uh oh. Guess what type of block that is. It was a bug block. Actually, I think we're having some server issues. So let me go back through here. Yep. Server issues. Back in a bit. Alright, I don't think it was the server. I think it was the uh, wireless adapter. Still having issues with that. And that's it for now. Let's uh, let's get some storage minecarts, shall we? We're just going to send them on down this way. Shouldn't be too difficult. But those are famous last words, aren't they? Alright, we'll pop that out. And yes, I did just use a sword. And I did not bring any, any uh, powering device. That's fine. We'll just push these on through. Let's go. There we go. go so those are on their way and um, we'll get them down into the stronghold and that'll be it for the preparation so you don't really need to see that so I'm just gonna take care of that fighting back a sneeze and uh, and then the next time we come back from a break it will be a time lapse probably of the ender dragon fight i don't know how it's going to go i have not done one of these in a legitimate survival context but um we shall see okay and uh hopefully it is enjoyable so um so yeah for now um, I am signing off. See you in a bit. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. You see us here in the end portal room, just sending up some the uh, storage minecarts. We're gonna get those going in. It was somewhat like herding cats with four of us trying to organize who was doing what and who was prepared for what but we eventually got it down I did have some network issues so I had to figure that out and had to switch computers um, it's just too much for my uh, new network card to handle um, I think it, it's heat sensitive and you see some of the issues there like the uh, ender chest isn't closing properly the way we are prepping here, um, Sturmfear's already gone through. He actually went through twice and ended up um, dying twice. And that, that was uh, just just a uh, bummer. Um, he managed to come back and we got, got him armored up again. But uh, here we are. We're getting ready to go in. Um, just a moment. Here we go. And... All right, so now we are in the end. Uh, one of those times that Storm Fear popped in, um, it turns out the minecarts with chests also were on there, and uh, put some momentum on them, and they went over the edge. So we are here without all of our potions, and then I've just got a couple of pumpkins. I also don't have the, uh, enchanting stuff 
So lost an enchanting table and some bookshelves and um, an ender chest. And then let's see what else. Uh, the Int Dragon collection pack. So, uh, so yeah, that was a bit of a bummer. So we had to come up with a new plan since we didn't have snow golems to, to take care of uh, the Endermen. So I just put a pumpkin on my head. Um, and at some point here, you notice me, I'm, I'm splitting my time between shooting the at the end crystals and shooting at the dragon and not accomplishing either. What I should have been doing is focusing on the ender crystals. And then whenever the dragon got close, just uh, take a swipe at her. Or him. Since mobs are gender non-specific in Minecraft. There we go. Got a hit, but it's all for naught because it goes right by the crystals and heals up. So, so yeah. Um, now what we've got as far as the presentation for this is the time lapse. Hopefully you are able to follow. Hopefully it's not too confusing for you. But at some point here I'm going to switch into music just to finish out the um, finish out the fight. And we'll see what happens along with that. Okay, so at some point I figure out um, or one of the one of the other guys points out maybe we should focus on the crystals and uh, and once that happens things get a lot better um, this is just rather confusing the initial loss of all the material kind of threw me for a loop um, and that stuff might still be available it fell onto a, it may have fallen onto a little end platform below the obsidian start uh, I'm not sure I've been back just once and you'll see that What we did is we um, we took a lunch break uh, right there before everybody was off for the Christmas holiday. Um, took took lunch and had some ceviche, which is a Peruvian seafood dish. Made it ourselves and then uh, just took on the Ender Dragon. So uh, yeah, it was good. It was a good fitting end to the year since most of us won't be back until. 2014, including myself. It was fun, just a little team building exercise. But uh, anyway, here we're getting ready to go into the music portion of the time lapse. So I'm going to end this up and we'll come back at the end. There we go, focusing on the end crystals. I'm splitting time whenever she swoops down. I'll call her a she. I don't know why. Is that working? Yeah, night vision potions going out. And you'll see what happens when that goes out. Notice that the obsidian starts showing up as complete black. And the ender dragon shows up complete black. It's a little unnerving. It's hard to see her. So there we go. Chug another one. Alright. Well, uh, that is it for the narrated portion. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, we will be back in just a little bit. Um to see the results. All right, back in a bit.
All right, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. So I've got this piston, and then redstone torch. That pushes the dragon egg over on top of the torch. And it drops as an item. And now I need to clean this up without angering any endermen. So we will see how that goes. First, got to get the piston. Okay. There we go. Got that. Now... Yeah, so I'm, I'm not looking around. So I don't anger any. Oh, and... Yeah, just angered one. Alright, back in a bit. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Safely got the dragon egg back. I'm in the vault currently, in our main chest. Now if you'll notice, look at that. Isn't that cool? Just based on this texture of the... Uh, chest here you can tell when I'm recording this uh, it's not actually Christmas Day this is Christmas Eve and uh, yeah, we're we're doing this over Christmas break have a little bit of time here um, but yeah so there we go we got the Christmas texture pack and those all look like gift boxes but uh, anyway that is it let me show you what we're gonna do with the dragon egg eventually um, I'm going to put a beacon uh, down a little bit below this fountain and then instead of sandstone in the middle we're going to do glass and then there will be a, the beacon beam going right right the way through it and up top here there will be another piece of glass and I think Parslet Mock is going to take care of, of the capping off and he'll put the dragon egg up there so we'll have the beacon beam going right through the dragon egg and it is a transparent block so it won't block the beam um, I've seen that seen it in numerous servers where they do that seems to be the common thing to do but I'll, I'll move that one down to under here and we'll set it up it'll be a full beacon um, don't know which buffs we'll put on it Ooh, lost something um, but yeah so we got the dragon egg got the got the ender dragon which means that it's time for an Enderman farm soon, right? Yep, that was the whole point. Uh, but we'll we'll come along for that later. I think maybe uh, Aston's going to take the lead on that. But uh, that's it for now. So um, I wish you a Merry Christmas if you are celebrating that. Um, otherwise, have a Happy New Year. And uh, actually, there'll be one more. No, this episode will be right before before New Year. So have a happy New Year. I hope uh, your celebrations are safe and uh, clean and uh, fun. And uh, that is it for now. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. And if you really enjoyed um, and you want to see these, I come out with these every Saturday. These and tutorials and um, sometimes some bonus episodes. But uh, not, not too often, depending on time and all that. But, uh, yeah, every Saturday you can be notified. So subscribe. And, uh, as always, I do invite your comments, questions, and suggestions. Had uh, had some more interaction lately. It's been kind of fun to, to talk with other members of the YouTube Minecrafting community. But uh, I do enjoy it, and I invite it. And uh, I also... Uh, thank you for watching, um, and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye-bye.